Welcome back everyone to the chapter 2 of volume 4.5. Here the story talks about what actually happened between Ayanokoji, Katsuragi and Suru. A week before Kiyotaka is informed about a plan to hold a birthday event for Kokoro Inokashira, a classmate in class D. The Eater Tribe plans to buy a present but don't have enough money. So Kiyotaka suggests to contribute their points and buy a single present. They then goes to the shop to buy one without Sudo. Shinohara and Koshira also happens to be there. And an argument starts between Ike and Shinohara. After that, Yamauchi notices Katsuragi is present in the shop and the three of them starts stalking him. They notice him buying a chocolate box and finds out that it's a birthday gift for someone on August 29. They suspects that the gift was for his girlfriend. At night, a usual group of class D students gathers at Ayanokoji's room and discusses about the event. When asked, Koshida also refuses to know if someone's birthday is on 29 August. Ayanokoji suggests them to not interfere in this matter, but instead gets the chance to investigate it forcefully. The next day, Ayanokoji finds Katsuragi in his school uniform despite of the summer heat. Before Katsuragi arrives, Ayanakoji bumps into the student council president Horikita Manabu along with his secretary Akane Tachiwana. There, Horikita Manabu once again asks Ayanakoji to be the vice president of the student council and states that he wants to protect the school rules after he is gone. Before refusing, he notices Akane Tachiwana stating a name Nagumo. Ayanakoji refuses and states that he doesn't need to worry about the school as he will already be graduated from the school unless he wants to protect his sister. After that, Manabu apologizes for taking up his time and leaves. After 30 minutes, Ayanakoji notices Katsuragi going inside the school building which explains his uniform attire. Ayanakoji goes back to the shop where he unexpectedly encounters Katsuragi. Katsuragi asks Ayanakoji that whether he is buying a present for his girlfriend to which he refuses and answers that it's for a classmate. Ayanakoji finds that he has been going to the school for some matter. There, Katsuragi talks about the no contact with the outside rule being a disadvantage. In the end, Katsuragi refuses to tell the name of the person for whom the gift was for after being asked stating that it's a personal matter. As Ayanakoji reports back his investigation, Ike and Yamauchi concludes that Katsuragi was buying a present for himself and feels sad for him. Now, the next day they all went to buy a present for Katsuragi, where Ayanakoji notices Shizune. Ayanakoji talks to her and Shizune states that she feels restless after Ruin's victory in the last exam. Ayanakoji then leaves to unite with Ike and Yamauchi and also Kushida. After noticing Katsuragi, they surrounds him and confirms that it was his birthday on 29 August. Katsuragi feels suspicious and soon excuses himself, stating that he has an important matter with the student council. Katsuragi asks Ayanakoji to accompany him after finding out that he and Shizune has some connections with the student council president, to which Ayanakoji says yes. At the student council, Katsuragi asks Manabu's permission for a package to be sent to his twin sister on her birthday, but Manabu flatly refuses. After that, Katsuragi leaves but Ayanakoji stays to have a chat with Manabu. They discusses about the matter and Manabu states that he will not be involved in this matter so Ayanakoji can do whatever he wants. At the lobby, Katsuragi was waiting to talk to Ayanakoji and hands him the gift as it was of no use to him. Ayanakoji states that there is a way of delivering the package as the students who plays for club tournaments are allowed for leaving the school grounds. Katsuragi thinks about it and says yes. An hour later, Ayanakoji calls Sudo in his room and asks for cooperation since he has a tournament with his basketball club soon. Sudo at first rejects the idea stating all the checks the school performs but agrees after considering Katsuragi's offer for 1 lakh points. After that, Ayanakoji gives Sudo a lunchbox and a water bottle with the gift box and the bag hidden in them and tells him to mail them through a post when he has the chance. Sudo asks for reasoning to which Katsuragi answers that his sister was all alone and sick and he was the only one to celebrate her birthday. Later on, Sudo successfully manages to deliver the package with proof. Katsuragi then delivers the points to Sudo through Ayanakoji's phone to avoid suspicion. Ayanakoji wonders whether Manabu might have been involved as well in this matter. So, this is the end of chapter 2. Hope you all enjoyed and stay tuned for chapter 3.